bad break. It's like a hard since you're gonna make the shot. Fast break fam, what it did, what it does, it's doing. We are back with another WNBA 2K24 video, man. And as you can tell by the title, we don't transfer it off build into 2K from NBA Live, man. So yesterday, that wing shooter I had showed y'all, the one with dribbling, layup, and passing, the super tall one that could facilitate and just shoot lights out, that would be this build right here for 2K, man. And of course, you can't be six foot eight like you can in NBA Live and still do the same things you can do on 2K. So as tall as we could be while doing that was six foot as i showed y'all in the beginning of the video with the stats and the badges she is six foot 224 pounds with a 510 wingspan man so you get an 86 ball handle an 88 three-pointer i think a 90 layup flat i don't remember all the attributes off the top of my head but you can go back and pause and look at the attributes and make the build for yourself this build is actually pretty fun but if you need if you're someone who needs speed booster at a higher level then I wouldn't recommend playing with this build, but if you're just used to shooting shots like this, or you're crabbing somebody, or you're just shooting pocket shots, or you're comfortable shooting over people, even though I didn't make the shot, if you're comfortable taking those type of shots, then this build is for you, because like I said, it's tall. It's six foot. Not a lot of people are going to be at the six foot position running point in this build. Not in the build, but in this mold, a lot of people aren't going to be six foot running the point. Most of the time, it's going to be the wing. And if they do, they're going to be slower than you because this is one of the faster builds that is tall. So if you make like a six foot slasher point forward or a six foot inside out point forward, you're going to be faster than the normal person that's six foot. So if there's anything else besides a point forward and they're six foot, they're not going to be able to keep up with you, bro. It's going to be a simple, simple time for you. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, but one thing I'm noticing playing in here, bro, it's so easy to get assists. Like, yeah, it's easy to score in here. It's, I'm kind of getting NBA live vibes in here. That's why I play it so much. But, bro, it's super easy to get assists in here as well, bro. Like, it's always like that for me in threes because, like, I don't know. Maybe threes is just my type of game mode, bro. Like, twos I do okay in. Fives I do okay in. Most of the time I get kind of frustrated because everybody don't be on the same page most of the time. But threes, bro. I'm not gonna lie, threes is like so fun for me. I think I have the most fun on 2K playing 3v3 modes. I really think I do, man. Like twos is cool, but like if you just having a bad day as far as shooting, bro, you gonna you gonna get hit. Like you gonna feel that. But threes, bro, man, I don't know. I just can't explain it, y'all. But let me know if y'all feel the same way, bro. I, I love threes, and that's why I be on this game mode so much. But like I said, it's just, you gotta have a squad when you on here, though, sadly, bro. Because the randoms on here aren't really fond of playing basketball. They're more fond of playing 2K. And what I mean by that is, bro, everybody does the same thing. Uh, Jamal Murray into a jump shot. And I didn't say Jamal Murray into an open jump shot. No, they're going to Jamal Murray into a shot. And if it's not open, oh, well, they're going to time it anyway. So, like, it's really, um, this mode is saturated with a lot of kids. And, you know, they come here because I guess in park they don't really get the ball. So I can understand why they come in here and do all, you know, the, the just pure Jamal Murray and Jamal Murray and Jamal. Like the only move, I swear the only move they got in their bag is Jamal Murray and then they shoot it. But, yeah, so the randoms in here aren't really like, it's not really like the best. So if you if you hooping by yourself, bro, it's, it's literally give or take. It's like random wreck. It's give or take with the skills of the randoms you get put with bro so I, I really wouldn't recommend coming in here by yourself at least bring one partner in here to hoop with bro other than that bro i don't think you belong here if you read the randoms because it's gonna stress you out you can do it but i hope i hope you got a tough mental bro because like i said it's gonna stress you out like the the logic in here is uh, it's, it's almost non-existent bro they just be in here just to I don't know, just get clips, I guess. I, I don't know. If that's really how they play and they try to win, bro, they, they need to rethink and revalue everything, bro, because I'm not going to lie. You don't consistently win like that, but yeah. So like I said, though, this build, though, it gets silver bulldozer. It gets bronze limitless. It is not silver or gold or anything, because if you were to do that, you would have to be like shorter and you would pretty much have to sacrifice the, the height. But like I said, I made it six foot to be able to shoot over people and like i said i, I forgot to tell her the jump shot 
The jump shot is KD's base with Sadiq Bay and Kobe Bryant. And I forgot the percentage, but like I said, I'm going to put it up on y'all's screen so y'all can see it, man. The jump shot is KD base, and I wanted to talk about that too, man. KD base actually has good stats, but I don't understand why people don't. He passed that back? What the? But I don't understand why people don't use KD's base. T-Mac is good, and Malcolm Brogdon is like second to T-Mac. But no one talks about KD's base, and I don't. I really don't understand why. I think I talked about it in a video with my big man about you know shooting on big men could be a little bit inconsistent at times yo, yo, but one yo, thing i really it, don't understand it. is why don't anybody talk about kd base bro like look at you seen the attributes on that like how could you deny that <laughs> seriously like how could you deny that but we won that game pretty simply we're gonna move on to the next one where they had two bigs and i ain't gonna lie this game when we went to game chat uh buddy in the green t-shirt he had one of those um those voice changers slash mixers that you plug into your controller you know how like what do you call it not exactly like a y splitter situation but it's basically a modulator where you plug it into your controller and do you plug your headphones into what you plugged into your controller if you get what i'm saying so i hopefully i explained that right but yeah pretty much that's how it is and he had a voice changer hooked up to that bro and you're going to see me go to game chat and pretty much i want y'all to hear and listen to like how his voice was changed and even like reverb like he got reverb he got like you know like i said voice changes so his pitch was a little bit higher his pitch could be lower i heard reverb like whatever that is bro it seems like a uh, sounds like it's a lot of fun to use i'm not gonna lie to you bro it sounds like it's so a uh, whole bunch of fun to use bro. But like i said the hall of fame dimers coming into play too like not to take anything away from him because he can't shoot because like, at the end of the day that's a paint beast like a 50 something three ball Hall of Fame Dimer is literally making that work. But I'm going to shut up and I'm going to let y'all listen to this because this is this is hilarious, bro. I'm going to come back when the game's over. Titties like hang all the way down your kneecaps, like, like, bro, y'all are making me mad. Y'all about to make me get Tyrone on y'all. Tyrone plays old head ball, you know. All right, hold on, I'm getting mad. You know what? Tyrone's coming. Tyrone. I won't find me. All right, now who the fuck you asking for Tyrone now? All right, hit me in the corner, hit me in the corner, hit me in the corner. Yeah, we're in the corner. Hey, 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 somebody said a customer real quick. My shit had bad, bro. That shit cool. Hey, somebody said a customer real quick. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Cause I don't know if it's 
Yeah. All right, so final game in the video, man, showcasing this build. You're going to be running point a lot if you haven't noticed, especially if you have a big with you. I had a big with me when I was recording because, like I said, I can't. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, I, I really do love running with my supporters and my viewers and all that stuff, but it, I, I can't come in here with a full squad of random sometimes. Like, I, I really can't because it, it's hard to. And I was just, like I said, is everything I said before worth the, the whole logic and common sense thing, bro. Like, people really just be in here, I guess, to test out jumpers or... I, I don't know. I'm not sure what the case may be, man, but I, I get the vibe sometimes that people really just come in here to test jumpers. They don't really be coming in here to win, if you get know what I'm saying. Like, they don't, be, they don't be playing to win most of the time in here. But yeah, we're going up against a three-level scorer and two sharpshooters, so they don't really have a ball handler. Should be pretty easy to, um, you know, contain. Because I don't even, like, no, 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 no. Honestly, depending on what position that three-level scorer is, if he activates playmaking take, he will be able to momentum. Because I know some three-level scorer builds point guard and shooting guard gets an 81 ball handle. So, definitely, I think if he gets takeover, he, he activates playmaking, he'll be able to do that. But that's if he gets takeover, and that's if he chooses playmaking at that point. I need to also do some research too, man, because I know I'm like the only person who makes W content, but I need to also do research on um how much playmaking or not even playmaking, just take in general. How much take in general boost attributes in here? I'm pretty sure it's the same as the city, but given how so many things that should be transferred over here isn't like um if you hit starter three in the city, you should have access to like Chris Bosch and Rudy Gay's base and Ray Allen's base and you know different taunts and layup packages and all that stuff but you don't like i hit starter three in the city and i don't even have starter three animations in here bro so that's one thing we need to talk about also uh, you don't get mamba you don't get mamba in here there's no way to get mamba in here now i'm pretty sure next year they're going to have a way to add it and if they don't that's just going to be straight up neglect i'm sorry i'm, I'm sorry bro i just got to address it as that bro because like you got we got mamba we got mamba in the city which is cool but some of the stuff that's in the city should be in here like you see the scoot henderson shoes i had on like back when i pulled out that shoe review video the scoot henderson i did a review on those are the ones on my feet right now but to everybody else the dude i'm guarding and to everybody else that's playing with me that's not on my playstation they just see generics on my feet bro like y'all see me wearing the scoot henderson's right there they're right there the flaming hot cheeto scoot henderson's are right there on my feet but if i put them on everybody's gonna see generics on my feet when that's not the case so it, that's that's another thing that's that's kind of like bothering me with the W thing. Like it's a lot of stuff they should do to pretty much have it to where it's a better experience. And why did they take accessories away? We can't wear leg sleeves or arm sleeves in here. Well, we still have arm sleeves, but we can't wear leg sleeves in here. No short knee sleeves, no knee straps, no uh no wristbands or anything. Like, bro, it's it's a lot of things in here. It's a lot of things in here that I really really wish that we could definitely have to you know that we had before to pretty much give us that good feeling with having everything in the w bro because sometimes it just feels like too much is missing too much is missing man but I i'm cool with the builder i mess with the builder i mess with the badges like the builds in here are really nice some of them i ain't gonna lie some of them on paper are better than city builds i'm gonna be honest bro I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be completely honest. And it's probably because they can't dunk. But since they can't dunk, bro, some of these builds in here be so nasty, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I'm going to put y'all on to some, some, like, some good builds to play with in the W if you play guard, wing, or big. I'm telling you, like, y'all really be y'all really be sleeping. Like, it's some nasty builds under here right under y'all nose. And just it all depends on your play style at that point. That's a tough bucket. That's a tough bucket. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, so that whole thing, that whole thing I was talking about, man, I don't know, man. Hopefully it's for 25. And then let me know if y'all want to see a 25 wish list video for the W. I might drop one. That's an overdose? Nah, I want overdose. That's tough. That's tough. But yeah, man, that's pretty much like the, the top things that bother me with this game mode, man. Because it feels like a lot of things are missing. They just don't really pay much attention to the mode. They just make the mode and bare bones, bro. They don't flesh it out. It's just bare bones, bro. But hopefully in 25, nutmeg. Hey, hopefully in 25, man, it works out better, man. But we just gonna have to see. We just gonna have to wait and see, bro. We just gonna have to wait and see, man. But 
Man, I, I'll say honestly, the best, the best W for me was definitely 2K21. 2K21 and 2K23 was very close because the builds in 21 and 23 were very nice. Oh, you gotta step up, bro. That's too much space. That's a shot, buddy. Hey! Tell you, look how far away she was on the three-point line, too, man. Like, that bronze limitless range really is further than what you think. Like, bronze limitless range in here and in the city is different. They're different. Like, the badges in here work differently. I will say that because you can shoot farther away comfortably even if you don't have limitless range in here. Like, it, it, it's kind of it's kind of easy in here to shoot. It's I don't know. It's just smooth. Everything feels like a it feels like a different game because everything's smoother. But man, y'all gotta play it. Y'all gotta play this mode. If y'all never knew this mode existed, y'all gotta play it because it, it's a it's a really good different feeling, bro. That's a shot. Hey, one more, we out of here. One more, we out of here, man. But yeah, 21 and 23 were my favorite uh the W experiences. 21 because custom shoes actually showed up. That's when I did my mom's face scan as far as like, you know, doing having a my player and all that stuff. And that's when I played big. I had to be level score with like sharp rim take, I think. And then 23 was when I started playing guard. And that's when I brought in like the fictional character, Luna. Devin Booker Floater. Hey, that's unstoppable, man. But leave a like if you want to see more. Subscribe if you're new, man. Like I said, nothing but W content, basketball content over here, man. We're going to start vlogging WNBA vlogs too, bro. For the Atlanta Dream because, you know, Georgia. But yeah, man. Peace out. I'm going to see you on the next video, man. Thank you for staying this long.